Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Dutch World Conquest here in EU4. And I apologize um, if things seem a little bit off today. I am a little flustered. I just spent the last uh, hour and a half or so figuring out how to get the game mods working on the new patch. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little irritated, but it's all good. It is all good. Um, and so, we are at war with this dude over here, and I think we were bouncing back to defend our lands, I believe, because we are at war with, like, a large chunk of the world. Luckily, we have the Auto Man over here. Um, and I'm assuming, as Bohemia gets beat up on in the war, that uh, Rush is probably going to want to break loose. That's a nice-looking Mazovia, by the way. But anyways, our uh, coffers are not looking too slick anymore. We're also down on this. Is there a reason why? Stability? Prestige and stability? Okay, well. I'll just turn it off for now and... Um, let it tick up for a little bit. And... Um, I think we should detach you guys and have you guys protecting trade in the channel. Just so we can maximize our profit here. Though, at this point, maybe it would be best to have them protecting trade in Lubeck, I reckon. Let's see here. Um, that's fine. You can have some liberty desire. It's fine. We do have a merchant, so I should probably assign him. I'm not sure if this guy's really doing a whole lot. I assume he's not. But, uh, yeah, transferring 0.3 ducats. So... Let's spend some time to kind of look around here and see what our best bets would be. So it says here that the Champagne we are transferring from. This is Chesapeake Bay. Certainly. Because this goes directly to the channel. So let's transfer with you. And then, um... Zambezi? Really? We are transferring from here. We're going to need to get a little bit more of the land. We, we got all the trade centers and stuff, which is really good. And whenever we're not at war, we're going to be able to upgrade all these and really maximize our profit over here. Um, let me see here. We have a couple of colonies. Port Hollandia and the Andamans. Admittedly, the Andamans is not so much important to me. Port Hollandia is good. And we'll get the Gold Coast. We want to control as much of this as possible. This is honestly one of the most important trade nodes in the game because it transfers either directly to the English Channel or directly to Sevilla slash Genoa. So, need to be aware of that. I think we can now unpause. Um, let's wait for you guys to lock in. Let's go see if we can wipe you guys out in Galray. Or not. Over in the woods over here in Mepin. Hopefully a stack wipe. No stack wipe. We are killing some of those troops, though. So I don't really want to be involved in this war much longer. Like, I am certainly okay with a white piece. So, hmm. With France seizing down his capital, that kind of puts a little bit of a damper on my plans. Yeah, I'm going to kind of just avoid this altogether for now. Um, let's get you guys over here. See if we can... Portuguese are landing, men. Did France call you guys in? Yeah, they did. Okay, a little boat bomb on them. Let's get you guys split over here. You guys over here I have most of the land that I want I just am not gonna be able to get enough land for the war score that I need right that's the problem hey yeah yeah let's go ahead and blockade this as well people piecing out so it looks like it's actually starting to turn in our favor actually don't know why war superiority I assume Mazovia will probably peace out pretty soon. Get a loot tick. There we go. Get you guys grouped up down here. How is our tech looking? Very good. Super good. 
We can even embrace institution. And we will sooner or later. Um, I think transferring is probably our best bet. Let's state this up as well. It's going to give us a little extra trade power there. So we're transferring almost eight ducats a month. Is it going to go up at all? Yeah, there we go. All right, so that is done. Let's uh, get a colonist over there as well. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to send some men down there. Do I have an army somewhere else? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, I don't have any... Well, let's see here. Can I just make a colonial template for down here? I can. So let's just do that and have them march over there. Keep an army... I'm going to have to keep my armies kind of spread out. It's just kind of how it goes. Apparently, Spain is sending some heavies against my transports, which is no good. Ideally, I can flee on the 8th. Did I lose any? I think I lost one. That's okay. I'll take some uh, friendly terms with everybody. Now, Spain joining in on that is definitely no good for everybody else, though. Everybody involved loses because Spain's involved. So, tech ahead of time. But I think we're going to wait on it. Alright. And so, I'm assuming that France just wants this. They might take Cornwall. Kind of doubt it, though. But as soon as they peace out, the idea is, is we want to jump on it. Jump on it. Alright, and we can send our cannons in to help him out with that. So, he should peace out pretty soon. Let's go ahead and get you guys spread out in preparation. I think this is actually a level 3 fort, so I'm going to have to keep some men here for that. And now we just wait. Uh, might actually have to break off to go do this. They're going to be devastating my lands over here. It's going to make me mad. Ay ay ay. Quit it. Jerks. Thank you. Morocco sent me a gift. Speaking of that, there is... I need to do that. But there was another one that I needed to do. Um, where's it at? Um, oh, it's over here. Game options. Nope. Um, message settings. Right here. Um, we need bankruptcy. Um, all. When you go bankrupt? No. When another country goes bankrupt, I want this to be displayed as a pop-up. Yes. This is what I want. I want it to tell me and pause the game when somebody else it goes bankrupt. Uh, when anybody goes bankrupt is fine. It doesn't have to pause it unless they're marked as interesting. Then it will pause. This is what I wanted. Yes. Very good. All right. Um, we can close that now. And speaking of that, <laughs> isn't that kind of funny? England went bankrupt. Well, that's good for me. So I suppose I can just get the peace deal I'm looking for, right? Keep a shorter truce. That's fine. Get everything cored up. I would like to... Uh, oh, come on now. Pricks. Stay away from my ships. I didn't lose any. Spain, you're going to make me mad, man. All right, Yadaldo. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hunt ships in the North Atlantic. We got a really good admiral there too. Ten heavies. Spain doesn't stand a chance. Let's go ahead and have you guys um, manage rebels here for a little bit. I believe I'm accepting English. Very good. 
Are we good to wait until the year? I think we are. Very good. I don't want to stay Ulster because it's not a very good province. Um, I am going to save up my monies. So let's go ahead and spend our point on trade. Protestant League. Mazovia returns a bunch of cores to Poland. That's some border gore. Okay. Speaking of that, I need to send you guys over there. Let's go ahead and get a... Uh... can't believe nobody's risen up over there yet. It's kind of crazy, right? Oh, some rebels rise up... Or natives rise up on my way over, though. This is cool, man. So I stole these from somebody else, right? England, I believe, so... There we go. Go ahead and spend the mill point. 77, jeez. It's expensive. That's a lot of mill points, actually. Alright, let's see if we can wait a little bit longer. So, Miltech 14's already reached and... Or, I mean, Admin Tech. And, uh, Miltech has also been reached. So, I'm in no rush to get those two. Um... I would like to get a claim on this, but I don't think I can because of the whole overseas colonial region. I suppose what I could do... And I'm pretty sure this is something you can do. Is if you grab a province with a colony, you can fabricate a claim and then just ditch the ditch the colony. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Alright, so is my navy killing anybody? Hey, come over here and kill those Spanish dudes. Oh, we lost our admiral. Well, that's a bummer. Can we get another one? Yeah, we can get that. I think I'd rather have the settler. So let's go ahead and do that. Still pretty good. There we go. Kill them all. Sink all of his ships. Yes, this is what you get. That's what you get. You deserve that. You deserve that, Spain. Scotland... Oh, I was going to say, Scotland has 30 ships. Very good. Yes. We lost the Siege of Utrecht. Oh, wow. I wasn't even paying attention. We lost both of them. Jaisa. All right. Well, let's get some guys over there, then. Nope. Let's, uh... Have you guys go there. And uh, have you guys drop off over in Den Haag. Oh. So, uh, long, long live Duke Fuzzy. So, our queen consort is going to be there for a couple of years, and she's not very good, but that's okay. Okay. Let's actually get you guys... I think it's probably in my best interest to try CG's back while the garrisons are low, right? Where are those rebels at? Over here? What in the world? Oh, uh, they can handle that. That's fine. Dude, I want out of this war. Andamans are almost done, actually, which is really good. England can get a couple more claims on them. At least a claim on them. I think today's the day we're going to try to make our way into India, right? And Spain is just being a thorn in my side. Let's have you guys protect trade in Lubeck for now. It's true, I could... Tr I could uh, yeah, I definitely don't transfer that much from Lubeck, so it's definitely best that I transfer from Lubeck. And we gain the war exhaustion. Of course we do. Give me my land back, you turds. All right. Get out of here, you wiener. State does need the money indeed. All right. Get a couple of kills over here. Oh, my goodness. As long as they're not joining in on that fight. Yes, yeah, get out of there. Get off my capital, you dirt jerks. It's gonna reinforce. Can I get out in time? I can. Very good. And, uh... We can take it three years ahead of time, and I think that is good enough for me. And then the points that we save will be spent on dev. Because, you know. And all that money going back into uh, reinforcing my armies. Ay ay ay. 
some their fleet went somewhere. I don't know where. Ooh, Scotland came back in a good way. Hey, thanks for your subscription, whoever that is. Still don't know how to turn that off. <laughs> All right. Zealand has come under the occupation of Spain. Of course it has, but it'll go back from Den Haag. So Bohemia has peaced out. That's that's huge, actually. That's huge. Um, that basically means that the Ottomans can just beeline it right towards Austria. Denmark is going to want out soon, too. Hmm. Wait, I'm at war with Scotland? Oh, I didn't even know you guys were in here. Well... Oh, I like that. No, oh, you absolute wieners. Get out of my lands, man. It's a lot of dead men. Denmark peaced out. Brandenburg accept peace with Denmark. Tropical wood, that's fine. Um, So we have one dude over here. I don't really think I could handle a war with the JJ unless I landed some serious troops on there. Yeah, he's got a lot of manpower. Hmm. I don't know. Let's get you guys down here. Get the Spanish fleet off me. Hey, the war is over. Very good. Um, the deal will. This deal will establish religious peace in the empire. Really? So they signed a white piece. Okay. The Peace of Westphalia. Netherlands, I, I got 105 ducats. Sounds good, man. Feels good. Alright, cool. Well, I can take that then. Uh, no point in taking it ahead of time, though. I don't gain anything from it, so... We'll just wait on it. But that is nice, because that means we can go back to protecting trade over there. Transferring all that trade, boy. Um, I don't care about that. Andamans are done. All right. And so with that, that means we can start making our way over here. I need to get another explorer out this way. Let's go ahead and recall you. Those are very... Aggressive natives, I must say. All right, well, let's come over here and get this one then. For some reason I have access through Mutapa. Sounds good to me. Have some rebels that are probably going to be popping up over there in England. Um, Isabel Clara Eugenia. Together with her husband, Albert, who died in 1620. It's about, you know... 70 years from now, uh, Spain and Portugal was sovereign of the Netherlands and the Low Countries. After his death, she was appointed. So, oh, hey, get a von Habsburg. <laughs> mm. Well, there's an idea. Do you have a Von Habsburg? No, to trust Amara. Who else has a Von Habsburg? Just, just Austria. Or do I want 300 points? Or an okay air? I don't really care about my, um, uh, my dynasty a whole lot. It's 10 points, she's average. Fuzzy's pretty good, he's above average. I don't know. Uh, she's only gonna... No, I'm gonna take the points. I'm just gonna trust my gut there. Let's see if there's anything we should be spending our points on. Next idea group is coming up. And I think we're definitely going to be going humanist. So we should definitely be switching over to admin focus. Speaking of that, we should probably... Are you a full price? I believe you are. So let's go ahead and switch that guy over there. And um, we'll uh, upgrade this guy a bit. Promote him. And uh, we will spend a couple of points on 
diving for manpower. There we go. Cool. We need to be getting to war here soon. So that's a nice looking Prussia. I will certainly royal marry you. Brandenburg, not so much. I think I can probably dissolve. That alliance. Not really too beneficial. So I do have mill access through Mutapa. Nice. Okay, well. I have religious, correct? I don't have religious. Right, I decided on humanist instead. So do you have any allies that I care about? I have a few. Saklava, I have a truce with. Till 72. Who's allied to Makua? Who is who? This guy. Hmm. Man, I really think it's just time to sink our teeth into Caramendo. I think it's time, man. I do. Alright, so these guys will obviously be staying here. I need more transports, though. Oh, wow. We can make a lot more ships. So let's just go ahead and build that many more. And uh, have you guys transfer over to London. And I will have you guys go ahead and squash rebels over here. They're going to happen eventually. And then let's have you guys pick up these guys. I think with 28k we can probably manage over in India. Yes, this is good. This is very good. Yeah, provincial unrest is kind of bad though. It's mostly because of this. We're super ahead on time, so we might as well just not risk any of the revolts. And put down our and that'll that'll take care of most all of it. Alright, and our navy's almost here. At least, you know, these these guys. And then you guys are gonna transfer over here. Can't believe those natives haven't risen up yet. <laughs> Come on over here and uh, get rid of those guys. How much is it? 28? I can do that. Very good. That gives us a little extra trade power over here. It actually gives us a merchant, which I uh, thought I had a merchant here before anyways, but apparently I did not. Um, Alright, so... According to this thing, we should be steering from Chesapeake Bay, which I thought we were, but apparently not. We lost a we lost a trader somewhere along the line. Right, it was probably this one. This one keeps going back and forth between 51. Dutch Mexico has some debts. I can pay that off. Actually, hmm. He's got some claims. I should probably send some men down over there and help him expand as well. He'll be getting me money in the long term, so. Let's go ahead and just get you guys over there as soon as possible. What's mill tech looking like over in India? 11, and I will be on 14, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. Infantry fire, combat width. Though I should have put a fort here, it probably would have been best, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Oops, let's uh, get you guys over here. Get you guys over here to Goa. Now, I'm not going to have my ship or my fleet over here, so I should probably should send my heavies over. Just for peace of mind. It's gonna take some time for them to get there, which is fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. Let's build a couple of those things. That's a lot of money, boy. That's a lot of money. All right, so the House of Elsevier in Amsterdam. Paper will be produced, goods produced, institution spread, and yearly prestige. Sounds good. Plus some free Diplo, which I always like. Because these are the best clicks in the game right here. Very good. Oh, so much, so much money to be made. Okay, 
You guys are getting over here. Hopefully we're not taking too much attrition here. If any. Hey, very nice. Alright, so our heavies are on their way. Let's go ahead. They have the gen the admiral there. Probably should have left my fl flagship behind, but that's fine. We're still transferring a ton of points over there. So um Austria will now rule over the platinate. Cool. And uh let me see here. Juan de Trastamara, so he now rule new king. Okay. Let's probably, hmm. All right, so those lights are getting set up over here. Very good. English separatists will not be around for a while. Our guy got busted over here, which is no fun. So let's let's take a quick look again. Even if he sends everybody in, he barely outnumbers me. So as long as I play it smart and I don't take any stupid fights, I should be fine. Um, how many cannons does he have? He's got some cannons, so I should probably build some more. Yes, I should. Especially because Miltech 13, I believe, gives you... Yeah, Miltech 13 gives you extra cannon damage. So it's important to have all the cannons. Heavies will be here in a bit. I'll wait for at least two more of the cannons. Trade efficiency is good. Always worth taking. Savoy now has their guarantee in independence guaranteed by Spain. And Scotland has been discovered building spy network because they're a punk bitch. Ooh. Lose admin or don't lose admin? Um, what's loans? We have a uh, we have decreased interest per annum, so our interest is literally nothing. Those loans mean nothing to me. All right, so our heavies are here, and we have nine cannons. I think it's time. And last I checked, his okay. So he picked up an alliance over here that I don't think he had before, but it shouldn't matter. Uh, he's got a couple of, like, OPM allies up here. That shouldn't be an issue as well. Netherlands getting claims on oil. So let's see here. Does this work like I think it does? Let me recall you. Send you there. And we'll uh, get that claim as soon as we can. So let's declare this war here. Is anybody interested in not joining? Apparently not. So we will go for North Quan Canara. Boom. All right. And we'll do the war in the next episode. So hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, make sure to show your support and leave a like. And uh, like I said, 100 likes a day. And we will get the twice daily uploads continuing. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out the Discord or if you'd like to support the channel via our Patreon. Links for those are in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot and I will catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig, as well as others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. Got a couple of series over there linked on the right that I think you might like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.